Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So, this is gonna be kind of a random video, more of a day in my life kind of video with all my different animals. I got a lot of random stuff to do. Specifically, if you don't know, I got a new Tegu over here. She is awesome, let's take a look. Now she is hiding, the lights just came on, so she's probably still sleeping, but there she is. You can see her tail back there. I wanna get her a hide, at least one, probably two. Here's her water bowl over here. Basking area up over here, which I need a UVA, UVB bulb, a new one. My last one burnt out about two days ago, so good timing there. Need to get this guy some new toys because he chews his toys up almost every single day. Don't ya? Don't ya? This is Chance, my mixed puppy here. Just uh, got him about, oh, it's actually been almost a year now. Huh, 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 huh. Chance. Chance. Come here. Oh, sit down. Sit. Sit. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Need to get some more frozen food for my nano fish. I ran out of uh, frozen baby brine. See if I can find some other small type foods for him. Get a new mouse for Hemi, the carpet python here. Slinking through her terrarium. And then I also need to get some food for my husky. Hey, hey, Seraph. Lay down. Okay. Okay. You want belly rubs? She wants belly rubs. Yes. Look at that schnoz. Look at that schnoz. Oh, what a sweetheart. Can you sit? Oh. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Oh. And now, on with the show. All right guys, I am back. I was gonna take you with me, but I completely spaced and forgot my camera. But let me show you what I got so far. So I got the dog food for my Husky here. Same brand for the cans, limited ingredient diet, and then raw infused. I did try to convert her to strictly raw food, but that did not work out too well. And I got my hide here. Normally I don't like this pre-made stuff. This was $15, but on the website, this was on clearance. So they price matched it. I got 50% off, so not a bad deal. Normally. I would just go to like a supermarket or something and buy a plastic container, flip it upside down, drill a hole in it, but not bad for the naturalistic look. It was like $7, $8, something like that. So that's just a tip. Always look online. I got some dubia roaches. They call them spotted roaches, but they're dubia roaches. We can see them in there. I'm going to work on starting my own colony again, so that should be fun. And then I just got some toys, more toys for chance, a rope toy, uh, industrial strength, fire hose tough chew toy. Uh, hopefully he can't chew through that one, but he will. And then I nearly forgot about this guy. I always look at the 50% off plants. I got some tissue cultured plants here for my terrarium. Should work out pretty well. There's only a few dead ones in there. This was $3, so can't pass that up. This will go in with the dart frogs. So I'm gonna put the hide right here in the middle. She's not gonna be very happy with me. She is awake now at least. Go nice and slow, try not to spook her. As I shove a camera in her face, right? She has been getting pretty comfortable with me though. She'll probably not like this, but we'll see. Here is the new Tegu. They also had baby spiny tail iguanas when I was there. And I was pretty tempted, but after my last experience with iguanas, uh, I'm just not gonna go that route again for a while. And I was kind of disappointed. The reptile store I normally go to for feeders was closed for some reason. So I have to go back there or drive a little further south to the only other reptile store. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time for that. So we're just gonna toss this in here. I also need to do something with the soil in here. This is not good for burrowing and tegus love to burrow, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. I do have some of the exoterra soil that I might mix in here with some sand and just make it a little bit easier for her to burrow in. And I didn't get the UVB bulb because I was gonna get it at the reptile store instead of Petco, but they were close, so I do have to go back out. Where is she? Down there in the corner. I do wanna check my basking temperature here. What are we at? Oh, if I could hold still, it looks like 111, 113. So doing pretty good. 
Could be a little warmer for a baby, but she's not really a, much of a baby anymore, to be honest. Give it a quick misting. All right, there we go. Here we can get a better look at the roaches because I know so many people love bugs, right? This is, this is what you guys want to see on my fish channel, right? There you go, little baby dubia roaches. I hope I get at least one male out of here. Got some uh, spinach I'm just going to throw in there. I'm sure they haven't eaten in a long time. See that dried up crusty piece of something there. I'll pull that out. An old piece of carrot. They should start chomping away on this spinach pretty soon. Do you like your new toy? Oh, I definitely need the vacuum. Well, I think he approves of his new toy. So now for the tissue culture plant, we're just going to put it right there in the middle. It should be fairly easy. It does come with all this gel on here that you want to rinse out, so we'll do that real quick. Just that easy. And I'm gonna put it right against this log here. It's not gonna look good right away, but it will eventually, I promise. There, just like that. And then we'll just give it a little misting here. I already misted the whole enclosure earlier, so it's still pretty wet in here. I'm not seeing any frogs. I'm sure we just scared them all, but hopefully this plant will take off soon. So I still need to pick up crickets, I still need to go get a UVB bulb, so previously I went to Petco and was going to stop at the reptile store but they were not open, so now I'm going to go to PetSmart and get some crickets, a UVB bulb, and uh, you know, maybe I'll find something else I want, I don't know. So we are back from PetSmart, a little tip for you guys, uh, these guys are like $22 in store, on their website they were $12.70 ish and they will price match. So then I got some Reptisoil, which we'll put in here and she'll be able to burrow a little easier. And then I got her some crickets as well. We'll dust those with calcium, Repashi calcium. But first I gotta get her out of here so we can put the soil in here. She's not gonna be very happy. Again, she's in her hide and I hate taking animals out when they're in their hide, but we need to get this soil in here so she can burrow. She's probably tried to burrow. You can see that's kind of mound right there. But uh, we'll get her out of here. There she is. Well, it took a little convincing, but she's in the styrofoam box. And I feel bad, but it's only for a little bit. This is 10 quarts I'm dumping in here. And then we will mix it all up. Should've just cut the top off the whole bag. Probably would've been easier. Or take the screen off the top that would have been easier too but I don't do things the easy way now we can play in the dirt here just gonna mix it all up nice and even except for back here where the water bowl is gonna go keep that kind of shallow I still don't know if this is gonna be enough soil I might have to go actually with another bag still pretty loose but we'll figure it out well, actually, this might work just fine. I'm gonna kind of build it up back here. This is where she's gonna spend a lot of time. Cause that's where I'm gonna put the hide. She'll be able to burrow down in the hide. So just to show you, I haven't sprayed this down yet, but a good rule of thumb is when you dig down to the bottom here, this should be damp. Not like wet and soggy, but just damp. Uh, whereas you can see now it's pretty much dry. I'm realizing now I got the bulbs but I forgot to get a fixture. So once again, I fail. I might have one out in the garage, but I'm pretty sure I'm already using the only two that I have left over. But I need to go to the hardware store tomorrow anyway, so I'll just pick one up there, a chicken brooder light, way cheaper than the uh, name brand stuff at a pet store. All right, as you can see, I got the hardscape back in. I got the basking spot a little bit better hidden for her. I got a nice bowl of clean water over here. She's got two hides now, actually. One is kind of hidden under here. Here's the hide that I bought. And then there's also another hole for her down in there if she wants to go hide uh, behind the water bowl. Also, I mean, theoretically she could go back there too, but not as good as spots. 
And I like to keep plants or something in the water just to help give the crickets a fighting chance to not drown. If anyone kept crickets, you know that they can drown in like a half a centimeter of water. They are pretty much the dumbest animals alive. Time to get her back in her home. She still has no name. I'm gonna go nice and slow and quiet. Let her smell me, let her know it's me. All right. Look at your new home. Not really that new. Oops. There you go. Your new home for a little bit. So we're getting towards the end of the day. I got three water changes to get done still, which I've already started behind me, and I got some mail to open that I already opened, but let's take a look. So this is from my buddy IFG. He had some extra timers he wasn't using, and I could definitely use some surge protectors slash timers if I can open them. All right, there we go. So we got the small little dual timer here, which is kind of cool. And then these ones are pretty neat because half of them are timed and the other half are always on. I really like these. I have one now that I'm already using, so they're pretty neat. I want to thank IFG for sending me his extras. Thanks, buddy. All right, we are done here. As you can see, I'm doing a 50% water change. Then we're going to do the dirted tank down here, which is currently growing some algae. All right, and I'm just going to pull out what little bit of hair algae there is here. Well, I guess it's not a little bit. There's actually quite a bit in here. Pretty simple to pull out. It does make a mess, but that's all right. Since we're doing the water change, it'll scoop it all up. Just want to make sure I don't accidentally pull up any crypts. I'll be curious to see if I can actually ever get rid of that algae. When I pull it up, I can feel it's rooted all the way down into the dirt. So it might be a little problem for me, especially without any fast growing plants in here with the dirt. But I've got one Amazon sword. Might as well plant this right now as well. There we go, got to plant it right there, smack dab in the middle. Hopefully it'll grow well there. It's right under the light, plus with the dirt. Uh, hopefully it'll get big and bushy and just take up this whole tank. That would be kind of awesome. I'm going to do a 50% water change in this tank as well. And I might end it after this tank. I do have to move my dart frogs into this room. They're currently not in this room, so I'm going to do that right now. So that is why I cleaned off this area. The dart frogs are going to go right here next to the tegu, which is hiding. She has gone to bed in her hide i won't bug her again these crickets are already like belly up i can't wait to get my dubias going because i absolutely hate crickets they're so stupid i did get the dart frog very moved over here of course we have nothing but glare can we see one uh, i don't see oh we got one right there in the middle of your screen i don't think my camera's gonna be able to zoom in on these guys but oh that's not bad starting to lose focus but there you go dart frog still doing well and i think i am done for the day all right folks so there is a pretty typical day in my fish room just lots of running around cleaning up getting supplies normally i would do a few more water changes but i don't really want to get distracted while filming I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see everyone next time.